So I'm in the skyline right now, and um, I'm, my plan is to make a sequential shift light for the car. And so right now I have um, the ECU out, and I'm tapping into the tachometer signal. And I have an O-scope here that I'm going to start the car up and uh, see what kind of signal is being put out as I um, uh, as I rev the engine. So start the car. So as you can see, here's the tachometer signal, and it's just a square wave. Um, if we look at the voltage, peak-to-peak -peak voltage. Uh, it's about a seven volt, seven volt peak-to-peak -peak signal. Um, and uh, let's look at the frequency. So frequency here. It's about 54 hertz, um, and it's revving at about about a thousand RPM, and so I think that it goes up by 50 hertz for every thousand RPM. So I'm going to rev it to 2,000. It should be, I mean, it should be about 100 hertz. So there's 2,000 RPM. Just about a hundred hertz. So all I need to do is program the microcontroller. Well, I have to down the voltage. I have to step down the voltage from uh, yes, about seven to five uh, for the microcontroller, and then um, just program it so that it looks at, at reads in frequency, and then um, converts it to RPM. And I guess it's uh, fifty. 50 hertz for every 1,000 RPM. So, stay tuned. Okay, so here's my simple circuit to uh, step down the, volta the voltage from 7 to uh, under 5. Um, and so, right here is where the tachometer signal is coming in, and it goes through this voltage divider. So on the other end of the voltage divider here is ground. And I'm taking the signal that's in the middle. I'm using two one mega ohm resistors, and so that cuts the signal in half. Um, and so if everything goes right, I should see something around three to three point five volts when I start the car. Up, so. Okay. So let's measure the voltage here measure the peak to peak voltage and we see right there about 3.4 volts which is perfect to, to my into the microcontroller so so here's the prototype of the shift light just on a breadboard uh, this right here is the shift light there are eight um, RGB LEDs that I can control individually and uh, this LCD screen here um, just shows the RPM, but there's also a menu that I can cycle through and the menu is displayed um, on this LCD screen. And so this right here is a Bluetooth module and so I can connect to the shift light through Bluetooth and then change different settings like, uh, for example, I can, I can set when the first light comes on, uh, which is at the bottom, and then um, sequentially it goes up and then I can set when the last one turns on and I can set the different colors or um, our brightness or whatnot and so I'm just gonna do a demonstration right now I have it so that I believe the first light turns on at 1500 rpm and then the, uh, the all and then sequentially they, they all light up and then once they're all on then um, it flashes at I think 2500 rpm so Let's see. So it's reading the RPM. You can see as I rev it, it goes up, and then I'm going to get it up to about 3000 RPM, so it should fly.
So here's the final product of the sequential shift light that I made for uh, the Skyline. Uh, so right here I have a action LCD screen that uh, took the place of the um, the stock digital clock, which uh, mine was not working, so I just replaced it with the screen. And then the uh, shift light is here, and I just basically 3D printed this housing for this LED strip that I had. Um, and so, when I start the car, I'm going to turn the car on. So you can see, it turns on, and then that thing kind of, well, it just says Nissan Skyliner 32 GTR. And kind of the cool thing about the system is that I have it linked uh, to Bluetooth, and so I have a phone here um, and an app. It's just a kind of a standard Bluetooth serial app, which I modified. Um, but I can connect to the shift light through Bluetooth. And once it's connected, I can actually, if you if you look, at the, sorry, if you uh, look at the LCD screen here while I press these buttons, so I can actually cycle through a menu and change the uh, start RPM, which is the RPM that the uh, first light turns on at. Um, and then I can also change the shift RPM, which is when the the RPM at which uh, <coughs> the LEDs start to, to flash. So I'll just set that to, let's say, that. Um, and then I have three sections, so three sections of LEDs, so basically I can set, um, you know, how many LEDs are in each section. So here I, first section is four LEDs. Um, I can also set the color so let's see here. Let's see, so I can change the color here, as you can see, all with this app. <clears throat> um, I kind of like this first section to be green. That's how I set it set up, uh, and then I have a second section here. Um, again, I can change the color, and then a third section. I just have the second and third section as red, so it's just uh, green and red. <clears throat> uh, but I can change the brightness, so the daytime brightness. Um, I can make that brighter if I want. Uh, and then I can also change the nighttime brightness, so when I turn the headlights on, it dims the, the shift light. Uh, and then I can have the display on, and right now it's just... Uh, I have the display on, it's just displaying RPM. And so, I'll go ahead and start it.